to know more such amazing stories from Indian history, click the bell icon and subscribe to Live History India. It was the premiere of premieres. On 21st April 1913, Raja Harishchandra, a 40-minute black and white silent film with occasional plates in English and Hindi to explain the action, was screened at the Olympia Theatre in Bombay. The event would prove to be as seismic for India as the first film by the Lumiere brothers in 1895 had proved to be for the world of entertainment, storytelling and news. Raja Harishchandra immediately became the talk of the town and India's massive, raucous, multilingual movie industry of the present day was on its way. It's also the story of India's first couple of film. Raja Harishchandra was scripted, directed and produced by Dundiraj Gobind Falke, an alum of the JDA School of Arts and Kalabhavan in Vadodara, and a former draftsman with the Archaeological Survey of India, who later worked at a printing press run by the celebrated Raja Ravi Barma at Lonavala. Falke's mythological drama was based on the trials of King Harishchandra, who loses his kingdom, his wife and his son to appease the demanding sage Vishwamitra, only to later have this revealed as a trial by the gods. The title role was played by Dattaraya Damodar Tapke, in the absence of female actors, a constraint of the society of the day, the female lead of the queen was played by a waiter, Anna Salunke. Falke's son Bhalchandra played their on-screen son. Gajanan Vasudev Sane played the incendiary Vishwamitra. It would soon receive great applause even at decidedly European gatherings. After its success at the Olympia, the Coronation Cinematograph and Variety Hall at Sanders Road in Girgaon began public screenings from 3rd May. It advertised one and a half hour entertainment programs. In these Bo Ideal or of the highest standard programs, Raja Harishchandra received top billing ahead of a song and dance routine by a Miss Irene Delmar, a comical sketch by the McClemens family and Alexandrov, the wonderful foot juggler. Dada Sahib, as he was popularly known, went on to make 95 features and 26 short films in an intense 24-year movie career. This included a remake of his first movie called Satyavadi Raja Harishchandra in 1917. He took along with him a steadily burgeoning industry which attracted actors and investors by the droves and from the movie mecca of Mumbai rapidly spread across India. In 1969, the Government of India would honour the filmmaker by instituting the Dada Saheb Falke Award, India's highest honour for contribution to the movies in a range from acting and direction to production and playback singing. The first recipient of the award was the actor Devika Rani Choudhury. It was an irony of sorts, especially as such recognition is still due the real force behind Raja Harishchandra and much of Falke's career, his wife, Saraswati Bai. She had even offered to play the lead female role, going against severe taboos of the time, till Anna Salunke was finally cast. When Dada Saheb Falke died in 1944, in relative obscurity and poverty, a pioneer and giant of the silent film era, overtaken by the talkies, Saraswati Bai stood by her husband, even after his death, writing his now-lost biography. Their descendants now clamour for a film-related award to be instituted in the name of Saraswati Bai and for Dada Saheb Falke to be awarded the Bharat Ratna, India's highest civilian honour. Meanwhile, their histories and contributions remain undiluted more than a hundred years after India's first couple of film created Raja Harishchandra, India's first home production movie.